for five minutes. Uh, my thanks uh, to Ranking Member Raskin and Vice Ranking Member Ocasio-Cortez for convening today's shadow hearing on the Supreme Court. A very um, apt description, I think, given the secrecy and corruption of far-right justices uh, that has been happening in the shadows. But I'm a firm believer that sunlight is the best disinfectant, and we need transparency. And while Re Republicans have ignored the crisis at the court, today's hearing is critical for letting the American public know how extremists on the right are coordinating across branches of government to enact wholesale, widespread policy violence. Mr. Anderson, have you heard of Project 2025? Congresswoman, yes, I have. My colleagues and I, we've been raising the alarm on Project 2025, a far-right manifesto that has hundreds of pages of extremist policies to destroy the federal government as we know it. Everything from a national abortion ban to eliminating the Department of Education to mass firings of civil servants to be replaced by partisan sycophants. Now, much of this focus has been on agencies in the executive branch, but it also implicates the judiciary. The only way right-wing extremists will be able to ensure their policies are carried out is if the Supreme Court will back them. And that's where people like dark money racketeer Leonard Leo step in. The Senate Judiciary Committee recently subpoenaed Leonard Leo as part of the Supreme Court ethics investigation. Mr. Aronson, can you explain briefly why Leonard Leo is under investigation? I believe Mr. Leo is under investigation by the Senate Judiciary Committee for his central role, not only in um, you know, the selection of decades worth of uh, right-wing uh, judicial nominees, which is not the direct target of the inquiry, but for his involvement in the scheme to uh, reward these, ju these judges and justices with luxury travel, vacation, private jet trips, uh, half million dollar yacht voyages to Indonesia and the like. Uh, investigative reporting over the past year has placed Leo at the center of this billionaire justice matchmaking scheme. That's right. Leo is the connective tissue between many of the ethics scandals of the Supreme Court dating all the way back to when he helped Clarence Thomas's confirmation and the discrediting and the smearing of Anita Hill. Let the record reflect, I still believe you, Professor Hill. Leo's work to undermine democracy goes beyond the Supreme Court. He has used his dark money network to fund Project 2025 to the tune of more than $50 million. The only way the Heritage Foundation is able to promote their anti-democratic agenda is through funders like him. Now, Leonard Leo is reported to be behind lawsuits for the Supreme Court to end Chevron deference. Mr. Anderson, can you explain why that matters when it comes to harmful policies from a conservative administration? Yes, Congresswoman. Woman. I, I'm so glad you brought up Project 2025 and its intersection with the court. It is no coincidence that the very same uh, collection of dark money entities, over 100 groups that have sponsored uh, Project 2025 and its sweeping plans to repeal the 20th century through uh, installing installation of you know, uh, personnel and you know, reorientation of our policies, um, are the same ones that have been behind the decades-long court capture scheme. And, you know, the, the agendas are connected in, in very direct ways uh, that, that my uh, co-panelists have uh, sort of touched on in terms of the attacks on the administrative state and in terms of uh, plans to install a uh, almost monarchical vision of the executive branch drawing from decades of investment in something called the unitary executive theory that members may recall from the Bush era when it was advanced to support President Bush's uh, despicable torture program. Well, again, Project 25 is only able to be successful if the Supreme Court allows it. So Congress must act. We have to expand the court to create balance and fairness. We need a binding, enforceable code of ethics to ensure accountability. We need investigations into Justices Samuel Alito, Clarence Thomas, Brett Kavanaugh, and any others with a record of impropriety on the highest court in our nation. And we desperately need court reform to defend our democracy and save lives. And a point of personal privilege, I would just love for people to make it make sense for me that Justice Alito uh, can't tell his wife what to do, but he can tell me what to do with my body. Make it make sense. Thank you. Thank you for your powerful questioning and testimony.